Hi everyone, my name is Olga and you're on my channel about cross stitch. Uh, well, uh, I'm a little bit late. It's uh, been three weeks still uh, since I filmed it last time. So I will show you my updates uh, on my whips. I will show you my fully finished objects and uh, some of my haul and some of my plans. So let's dive in and um, I told you last time that I have a kind of rotation when I took one of my whips work in progress uh, for one week then I have a whip of weekend and then I have another week for another big whip. Well, my one of my whips is Teresa Colgood Let Love Rain and of course when I saw that I decided that I will do it immediately so that's how it looks and that is what I have now I have a big frame for it so and yeah it's kind of see-through so I don't know just well last time I shown it to you I had just a border gun, now I have all the words and of course I have a needle here, sorry for that, that's where I left it. I finished one house and almost finished the second one, so for this level, as I call it, I should just finish the flower here, like a big one, <laughs> but I will do it today. Sorry for my dogs growling in the background, but I have a puppy, as you know, and he couldn't stay still, so... Yeah, uh, here is my, um, I think, focus piece for this week, and uh, now I show you my weekend week. Uh, I will just turn back because all my project bags are here, and I'm just trying to be organized here. Okay, this is Words of Wisdom by Nancy Rossi and Dimensions. And I shown it to you last time, uh, I think in my week parade. So I have the lamps done and I started the arch. Well, for now I just rotated my... my... Oh, it's still see-through, so... This is 25 count linen, uh, which is called for. Uh, so I just rotated it and started on the arch here. Yeah. Sorry for that, guys. It was a garbage truck. Came just right when I'm filming. Well, as usual. Well, now I am continuing on the arch. And this weekend I will try to finish the all the... But, uh, like this part yeah and just go there probably i don't know um i think for me it's more difficult to do 25 count than 30 32 count uh, which is my favorite but well uh, uh, i will continue on it and hopefully uh, this whip will be done in like two or three weeks or weekends well i hope so because this whip i have like forever but I really like it so I will continue on it my other piece uh, I take for a week is a design works kit uh, and um, really I don't like design works charts because they're too small for me not so easy to see this is around 66 I call it farm stand because it is farm stand and i started it last week and this is what i have here i started from the center and then went there because i want the truck to be done first so it's on 14 count edam uh, that was in the kit I use all called for all, all the flosses and uh, fabric from a kit so this is like 
nothing special there oh yeah i forgot i stitched teresa cogat a lead lavrain on 32 count flex by zweiger it's my favorite to go neutral okay so that were my bibs and uh, i have another one it's from nova slobada it's ukrainian designer before they start the name of uh, this project is before they start and i'm doing with my friends it's like kind of sal um well nothing interesting here <laughs> This is the 16 count Ada uh, with the printed background and I started in the center and I'm trying to do the side of this car and then uh, go to, for people around it. So it's a really long piece, but I really like it. So again, on before the star, Nova Slobada. So here are all my loops. I will show you my fully finishes now. I wanted to show them first. But <laughs> first of all, I finished my this surf from Nova Slobada. Yeah, I like Nova Slobada. I have a lot of it. Um, like I have many kits from Nova Slobada. It's like more than 10 of them. I have a collection and uh, yeah, I do like two or three kits in, in a year. So this surf was i think yeah it was the first this year i really like her she has a little bit of backstitch on her gown and on her face but it's just like couple of stitches so i don't mind it actually i don't mind backstitch at all so i really like her the frame is from Amazon uh, and um, the it's a standard size. It's like kind of, I think it's 12 by 12 inches and it fits perfectly. I really love her. <laughs> she is a beauty. And my another beauty one is the botanical garden Mirabilia and I shown you um, I think she was shown last time as a whip and now she's finished it's all called for uh, called for fabric called for flosses called for beads everything called for in this case i think it's the best choice for it i saw the botanical garden on different fabrics and i really like the cold four ones it's touch of pink by rachel 32 count i'll try to show it closer she has not so much backstitch here but many beads a little bit of cranic you couldn't see but it's here on her head i think headdress something like that and yeah she is beautiful i framed it myself it's uh, just a frame from amazon too it's 10 by 10 so it's standard size i really like when my pieces fit in <laughs> standard size frames so yeah now she's in the wall in my in my bedroom so i can see her every time i'm here <laughs> and i'm really glad that i i finished it it was a most quick mirabilia in my life i did three of them she's the fourth one and uh, she is the most quick mirabilia i ever done uh, she took me like two weeks i think in general so yeah she's a beauty i like her and uh, 
uh, I know that uh, some of my viewers they they're waiting for, they waited for her so here she is and me <laughs> okay uh, let's talk about my haul it's just a little bit but still I just I know I'm a flus tuber now and I should show it to you okay first of all I got some reprints and prints from Imaginating. I'm a big fan of Imaginating and uh, I love their charts, I love their the designers who works for for Imaginating like Diana Arturs. So I had two reprints of the patterns they had like years ago and now they just reprinted it so when you go to their website imaginating.com uh, you can see all the charts almost all the charts they have and uh, you can just order a reprint from them so i did this is uh, the um uh, this is star welcome uh it was a kit i believe um years ago uh, i think ori yeah originally is 2009 uh, and i just like this rusty star i just like the style of it i just i don't know i have some rusty decor in my uh, entry hall so i think it would fit there perfectly just perfectly i hope i will do it maybe in summer uh, I'm not sure but yeah I just love it another print I had was all your friends by imagination and of course I was interrupted again my son come for lunch so okay well it's another print all your friends by imaginating it was a kid back in 2003 uh, and I didn't buy it, I don't remember why, but now I just have the reprint and I'm happy because I could do it. I really like this saying, I really like this style and uh, yeah, so these kind of uh, pictures just make me happy and I hope I will have it in my house. Okay, my puppy just wants to throw his all his uh, toys on the floor. I don't like it. Well, okay. So I had a reprint. And uh, then I had a new one, Believe Cardinal. Uh, I never saw a Cardinal alive, but I just love them and I like this style with the jars so it's for me it's more like summery than Christmassy thing but cardinals are often on the charts with the Christmas theme um, but I think I will do it in summer and because of jars and all these flowers and I just love it and uh, yeah it's a new chart from this it's a new child from this year 2022 uh, and the designer is Diane Arthurs I, I love Diane Arthurs designs and I collect them and I stitch them so yeah I think you will see that this summer and the last one <laughs> last but not least yeah 25th December uh, by, by uh, I think it's Ursula Michael and uh, I actually have several charts with the dates like 25th of December I have 31st of October and I have 4th of July it's a series a new one from this year uh, Ursula Michaels da, Michael da, does it for I think all holidays something 
because I saw the newest one and it's about Thanksgiving with the saying like thankful and blessed uh, and I would like to do all of them and have just one frame and change them in, a fr in this frame like a calendar by seasons I think it's a good idea and I really like these bright contemporary charts uh, it's for me it's like cheerful and uh, for me it's happy and I think I will do them all so I, I show you the newest one I have it's 25th of December and I think it's a quick uh, and uh, comforting stitching uh, I saw that <laughs> comforting stitching, I think, from Brenda and Laura. Brenda and the serial starter. And I think for me, the comforting stitching is imaginating. Um, it's like a lot of feeling, yeah. So all these uh, numbers are like a lot of fill in. But, you know, I don't care. Uh, when I'm watching TV or just floss tube, I just could feel it and I really like charts from imaginating because they're just really clear to see they're big enough and yeah, I just love them love them, love them, love them and another call I have needs some explanation okay I got some flosses. Some of them are Vix Day works and classic color works. Here are the colors. I can do that, I know. I can hold them all. <laughs> okay. These ones. And I bought a bunch of flosses. It's a cotton, it's cotton from Stitchy Stuff on Etsy stitchy stuff they are great variegated cottons uh, I really like the colors I think they will work perfectly on I will show you on my tablet because it's a new one for those who loves all forest embroidery they have a new 2022 SEL home plants, house plants. Well, I would call it indoor plants. Uh, and uh, this is a mystery SEL. And the chart will be given by uh, sections. And each section will have like 1000 stitches, crosses. And they just, you know, shown a little sneak peek of it. And it's a geranium. I like it. So you can see that's like would be a lot of house plants there. And they shown it. I will show you closer. It look like that. And of course they use their flosses. Uh, but I just, you know, tried to find something um, like closer to their uh, given flosses. And so, yeah, that's why I bought some flosses because, well, I never done before, like just buy flosses to, you know, stitch something. Um, but I think this SEL would be too cute and of course I will do that. I didn't do three previous ones because the theme is, was not mine like Wizard of Oz or Alice in Wonderland or just Owls. I just not in this theme so but house plants it's something I like, something I have and something I would like to stitch. So, yeah. If you want to participate, just go to the Owl Forest Embroidery 
website and you will see the SEL will start on 27th I believe it's tomorrow yep the first part of the chart will be released tomorrow so I will start it well that's my haul and everything I would like to share with you I want to say thank you to new subscribers who just came and stayed with me thank you so much and for my old time subscribers I just want to say I love you I love you guys uh, so much thank you so much for your support for your kind comments for your likes for your uh, just bearing with me because I'm always late with my videos I could just um, disappear for months so just forgive me please but uh i think i will try to be on schedule i'm i i'm i'm trying hard i'm trying hard i hope uh you found something interesting on my channel and if you're just a viewer you will hit the subscribe button uh i will film next time in two or three weeks and i hope i will show you good uh, progress on my whips and probably a finish so wish me luck and thank you so much see you in three weeks bye